Hey friends, Paula here. I hope you guys have been staying cool this summer. I just wanted to come talk to you a little bit about um, my testimony, my decision to follow Jesus as uh, the staff has been kind of bringing those stories to you. Mine is pretty typical. I grew up going to church on Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night. Um, my mom would take my brother and I, and my dad stayed home. He wasn't a Christ follower, so um, I grew up in the South in the Bible Belt, and that's just kind of what we did. We went to church very often, so I was heavily involved there. And I remember um, specifically, though, when I was about five years old, that um, my mom and my brother were in the front seat having a conversation, and my mom was talking to him about his decision to follow God. And I heard her talking and I was saying, yes, yes, that's what I want to do. So I popped my head up and I said, you know, yes, I, I believe that. That's, that's who I am. And I identified myself right then as a follower of Jesus um, and, you know, went on um, with my life. And somehow very early on, I think it's common um, in religious circles to feel like following Jesus means keeping all the rules. And so I was able to do that uh, well for a while, you know, as a young kid. Uh, I'm a rule follower anyway, so I was able to do that um, until I got a little bit older and, um, you know, I was maybe keeping the rules on the outside where people could see, um, but not so much, um, maybe the inside was not uh, doing as well. Um, and so I do remember a particular point that I got to where I just said, you know what, I, um, I see this other thing over here that I want to do and I'm going to turn away from God to do this other thing. I know it's wrong. I know that um, it's not what um, somebody who follows Jesus would do, but I'm going to do it anyway. And so I specifically turned away and made those decisions and, um, you know, and kind of had the consequences uh, kind of come and affect me and others around me because of those decisions. So when everything kind of settled down and I kind of came back to my senses and, and realized what was going on, I just realized um, that I had a deep need for God, um, that I could never keep the rules well enough, that um, that, that, it, that wasn't even the point. The point was um, knowing that, that um, God loved me and uh, you know, I realized that there's nothing that I could do to make God love me more, and there's nothing that I could do to make God love me less. Um, and that was a big turning point in my relationship with, with God and in following Jesus. I, um, I don't know if you are a rule follower or um, one who thinks rules are made to be broken, but always we can find ways that we don't measure up. Um, and so if you are wondering if that's the case for you today, I just want to say that um, the creator of the universe, um, the one who carries the most weight has already weighed in on this and he finds us worthy of love and he proved that by sending his son to die for us um, so that we don't have to live in the brokenness of our bad choices and we don't have to be on the treadmill of rules but we can move into this relationship of love um, where um, God never changes he's always there for us and um, we can come to him with anything that we need or struggle with at any time so I try to live by that and follow Jesus as best I can with that knowledge that his love covers everything um, and that I'm saved not because of what I do, but because of who I trust. Hope that helps friends. I hope you have a great day.